Good morning, students. We'll solve one gate question which is given in gate two thousand on functional dependencies. So for so that you can understand the functional dependency concept in a better way, and even you will come to know what kind of questions they will ask in the functional dependency only on the definition part only. Suppose if you see that they have given a one relation and they have given four options A, B, C, D, and they are asking which one is valid, which one is Invariant means suppose if you see that x y determines z, so we have to check if x y functional determines z or not. What is the x y value here? If you see that for one and four it is giving two. Anywhere one and four is repeating? No, they are not repeating. So I can say that for one and four the unique output is two. For one and five it is giving the output as three. No problem. Anywhere it is repeating? No, one five is not repeating. One six anywhere repeating? If it is a distinct value, we no need to check because if it is a distinct value, obviously it will have a one distinct value only. Three and two is it repeating anywhere? No. So x y determines z is a value. Now we will see even they are asking and z determines y is possible or not. If you see that for z here we are giving three. It is giving me the value as five here. For three here, it is giving six. And even if you see for two, it is giving four. For two, it is giving two. So I can say that for a single input, it is giving me two different outputs as five and six. So I can say that z determines y is not functional dependency. So the total option is wrong. Is it clear? Because they are saying that this is also functional dependency is valid and it is also valid, but This is valid, however, it is not valid. So I can say that option A is not the right answer. Now we will see y z determines x. Where is this y z? Y z four two is there. Anywhere four two combined is repeating, not repeating. So it will be obviously have value one. Five three. Anywhere it is repeating in the table, no. So one value will be there. Six three anywhere it is repeating not repeating so it will be having single value. Two two is repeating no so y z determines x is a valid functional dependency. Now we will see y determines z is possible or not. For four it is having two anywhere four is repeating not repeating in the attribute y so it will have a single value. Comes to the five it is only single value so it is valid. Six. Anywhere it is repeating in the y attribute, no. For two, no. So I can say that y determines z is a valid function dependency. Y z determines x is also valid function dependency. Okay. So the entire option is correct. Now we will see y z determines x. Already we have checked here. Y z determines x is a valid function dependency. No need to check again. X determines z is possible or not? They are asking. If you see x determines z. If you see one is repeating three times, so we have to check it properly. For one here it is giving two, here it is giving three, so it is giving inconsistent result. So I can say that x determines z is not a valid functional dependency. So the option C is not correct. Now let's see about the option D. X z determines y. X z one two. It is giving four. X z determines y. We are checking for one and two. It is giving four. Anywhere one and two is repeating. Here, what is one and three? It is not same. So for one and two, we have single value called four. For one and three, here it is giving five. For one and three, it is giving six. So I can say that x z determines y is not a valid function dependency. Now we will see y determines x is possible or not. One, sorry. For four, it is giving one. For five, it is giving one. So no problem. A lot of people will confuse like this. But four is repeating anywhere here or not? You check. It is not repeating, so it will give a one unique value called output as one. For five, it is repeating anywhere? No, it is not repeating, so it will give a unique value. If I give input five, I will get output as one. For six, yeah, it is giving me single output called one. For two, it is giving me single output called 
3. So I can say that y determines x is a valid. However, xz determines y is not a valid. So I can say that option D is also not a correct option. So I can say that for this answer, for this question, the answer is option B. I hope you have understood how I solve this question. And I request everyone, please like my videos, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. And one more thing I want to say that I request everyone to go through my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you have any doubts, I request you to write it in the comment section so that I can able to answer your questions. Okay. Thank you so much.